If we want to protect something we really care about, like nuclear weapons, we split them up, spread them out, and we move them around continuously on submarines. And that's what CryptoMove does for data. Decentralized moving target data protection. A game-changing paradigm shift in data security. The cost of cybercrime is skyrocketing. Despite best efforts, and everyone in this room is acutely aware of how a data breach, like what happened at Sony, can upend a company or even entire industries. And as we travel along the innovation transformation, increasingly infrastructure is distributed and decentralized. Data is residing in multiple untrusted third-party environments, sprawling over edge and IoT infrastructure, and ending up on devices like drones, sensors, and robotics. Encryption remains the only game in town for data security. But we know the one guarantee with encryption is that it will fail, whether due to difficulties of implementation, vulnerabilities, or inevitably, quantum computers. And data at rest is an easy and stationary target. From a cybersecurity and game theory risk perspective, attackers have the advantage. Because in this game, they can hide, they can plan their attack, they can take their time, they can map out a stationary infrastructure and destroy, exfiltrate, or conduct ransomware or crimeware on data. Moving target defense changes the game. It flips the number one advantage that adversaries have, time. With moving target defense, as time goes by, the defensive infrastructure is continuously changing and shifting, which means the difficulty of attack can actually go up. And that's why we built CryptoMove, decentralized moving target data protection. CryptoMove is a platform that can protect data by splitting it up into fragments, encrypting the fragments, distributing them, replicating them, and continuously and dynamically mutating, moving, and re-encrypting the fragments with any algorithm in any infrastructure environment. CryptoMove launched after years of stealth R&D and is backed by some of the top cybersecurity investors in the world, including the head of security at Google. And while we were doing the research and development, we had an opportunity to work with multiple of the top media and communications companies in the Fortune 100, as well as organizations like NIST, the Department of Homeland Security, top five banks, and healthcare companies. What we saw was people using CryptoMove's technology to protect data all over the place for cloud infrastructure, databases, even drones, and in some cases, cameras, sensors, and in one use case, a live streaming video protected by CryptoMove without performance degradation. But what we saw was a common denominator across all of our research and development. The one thing everyone wanted to use CryptoMove for was keys, because increasingly, there's a proliferation of API keys, encryption keys, and other infrastructure secrets as we move to IoT, edge, and cloud environments, which is why we're launching the CryptoMove Key Vault to protect them. And it's not only the most secure way to protect data, but it's also the easiest and best to deploy. We are architing CryptoMove as a cloud-based service so that users, developers, and security teams can easily access CryptoMove as a service with our UIs and APIs. I'm gonna pass it over now to Billy from our team to show us how CryptoMove works, what it does, and what it looks like under the hood. Perfect. Go for it, Billy. Thank you, Mike. Uh, what you see here on the right-hand side of the screen is our CryptoMove secure data vault. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a file, uh, just a standard image file, and I'm gonna drop it into the data vault. And what you should see is very quickly, this file will go from 61 kilobytes to nothing. And what's happening in the background is that the file is getting atomized, it's getting encrypted, and it's getting scattered into our data fabric. So if you are a person who doesn't belong here and you try to access that data, you see nothing. There's just nothing on, 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 the, on the disk. Uh, however, if you're an authenticated user, in terms of getting it back, it's a simple matter of just opening the file like you normally would, and everything comes back live, reassembled, with no performance hit. We deliver this functionality as a cloud-based service for keys, secrets, and crown jewel data. 
So now let's take a look at what actually happens underneath, uh, underneath the hood. What you see here on the left-hand side of the screen is a debugging log that's showing the crypto move engine at play. And on the right-hand side, I'm gonna drop a file in. So I'm just gonna take a standard PDF file. I'm gonna put in, uh, fragment this file into 100 small pieces. We're gonna make several copies of this file, so in this case, two copies each. And we're gonna move every one of these fragments three times a second. It works out to 28,800 times in a 24-hour period. So when I hit enter, you're gonna see a large amount of movement on the left-hand side as the file gets immediately fragmented and scattered. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a snapshot of this data store. So let's take a look at what the data store looks like. So in here is you see all these, each, of, uh, each one of these listings is an individualized fragment. So the data store is just several directories deep um, and again, it just looks like randomized garbage. There's nothing in here. And as a matter of fact, if I were to try to open one of these files, I can't, because it's already been moved, it's already gone. Um, let me see if I can grab an old copy so you can see what it looks like. This is what happens if you actually manage to get your hand on it. It's, it's encrypted, it's AES-256, there's really nothing that you can do with it. Um, so in the time that we've been talking, obviously crypto move, the engine has been buzzing, it's been going on in the background. I'm gonna go ahead and take a snapshot, a second snapshot of that, uh, of the data store, and we will show you what it looks like from a visual perspective. So I'll do a quick comparison of the before and after. And you're see, gonna see a lot of differences. So every color-coded line item in here is a fragment that used to be in disk and is now gone, re-encrypted, and it exists as a brand new, completely uncontextualized fragment. And this is you know, just a large amount of unassembled data that if you are an unauthorized user, there's no way to reassemble it. And as a matter of fact, as I talk to you right now, the right-hand side already doesn't look like that. It's continuously moving. So, you know, like Mike said, it's very hard for, for attackers, but it's very easy for um, authenticated users. So in terms of getting the file back, it's a very simple matter. And it's back. So that file that we just recreated is right here. There you go. That's Mike. I'm Billy. We're Crypto Move. Thanks. Don't forget to vote.